Prepsters, this is Ola with Pandemic Prepsters, and today we're talking about pint size, wonderful little Mylar bags or mason jars, and what size oxygen absorbers, and how easy these are to seal. Come a little closer and we'll talk more. All right, as you can see, I have the 100cc oxygen absorbers. That is the maximum amount of oxygen absorber you would need for a pint size bag. 50 to 100 cc's is what you need, whether it's this or this. The only difference is how dense is the food that you're putting in here. This is all freeze-dried stuff, well, freeze-dried stuff at the top, and then other things that aren't freeze-dried, but this, I would put 100 cc's in. Now, if I did something, put solid beans in this one, I would put just 50 cc's in this pint. So because these are more airy, I always go on the cautious side and do the higher amount. So 100 cc's for all of these, because they're all light and airy, which means the air volume is light in there. So you have a lot more air volume and they're not as dense. So we're gonna add our oxygen absorbers and we're gonna bring you a little closer so you can see us sealing them if you're not close enough already. Well, I have the tools that I need. I had scissors to cut these open, and now I have my Pack Fresh USA mini bag sealer here that I'm gonna use to seal the Mylar bags. So I'm simply gonna open these bags. And these are really nice. These are the seven mil gusset mylar bags pint size and these have nice rounded corners here and they have the zip top that one did not want to open all right so we're going to add just one each to this bag to each bag and then i'm going to burp it or remove the extra air without squishing these freeze-dried items and I like to do that first. That's the nice thing about these little Ziploc baggies. You can zip them and have a little bit more working time. Now I'm gonna take my Pack Fresh Mini Sealer. You can also use a hair straightener, but this is really handy. And I'm simply going to run it across and seal my Mylar bag. And I just sometimes pass twice. I go slow, but not too slow. That's fine. I let these cool, and after a few minutes, I will check them and make sure they're fully sealed. All right, now that you know how easy these are to seal, I have a lot more to seal. So I'll bring you on time-lapse so you can see the process. Don't forget to put your extra absorbers away. This is a temporary fix because I will vacuum seal these. But you can always put them in a mason jar and actually dump them out. Too bad for all of this food being able to be put away for a long, long, many, many years to come. Some of it, 20 or more years. All right, let's, we'll bring you back once we count all of this up. Prepsters, well, it was 46 pint, 45 pint size Mylar bags. It's a little overstuffed, so I'll have to take a few out to get my lid on. But wow, that's a lot of freeze dried stuff. But regardless, if you're freeze drying, dehydrating, or just putting snacks and stuff away in a pint size bag, this is a great size bag 
for breakfasts. So um, oatmeals and stuff like that. So make sure you put um, your stuff away in a good, safe, secure bin that has a good locking lid um, or a, uh, a bin, a tote, or a uh, five gallon bucket. You can also store these in. So don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our channel. And from the pandemic prepsters to you, we hope you have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow.